guys hello guys okay so ito uh, start tayo number one we have the sum of a number and three is nine find the number okay so as i've discussed in the other video uh diniscuss ko doon yung basics ng word problem okay so when i say sum that means it's plus and then a number we let it x okay so the sum of x and 3 is 9 so we say is there means equal okay so if you don't have uh if you are if you really want or if you want to learn about the basics of uh, translating uh, english phrases and sentences into mathematical expressions and equations try to go over my videos on the basics of word problems okay so let's go number one the sum of a number and three is nine so sum is plus a number is x and then three and then so x plus three is equal to nine okay so ganito lang siya x plus three is equal to nine now, um, <clears throat> there you go. Uh, since we're solving for x, we're going to find the number, which is the x. Let's just uh, transpose this 3 in the other side, in the right side, and that becomes negative. So, we say x is equal to 9 minus 3. Okay? 9 minus 3, and that is 6. So, x is equal to 6. So, ang sagot natin dito is 6, which is letter C. Okay? There you go. Next one. Uh, number 2, the product of a number and 5 is, th is 30. Okay, so is and then equal and then 30. And the product means times. Okay, find the number. So we say a number again, we let it x. So we say x times 5 or 5 times x or 5x is equal to 30. Okay, there you go. Now, uh, since we're looking for the number which is x, we're just going to divide this one by 5. And then div divide this one by 5. So, cancel this one. So, we say x is equal to 30 divided by 5. That is also, again, 6. Which is letter C again. Okay? There you go. Next one. Uh, number 3. We say that uh, 2 third of a number diminished by 4 is uh, 12. Find the number again. So, 2 thirds the number there uh, a number there we let it x okay so let's just put x in the upper side because anyway that is always like that okay kung may may fraction yung yung variable magiging sa sa upper lagi sa numerator two thirds of a number diminished means minus diminished by four is equal to twelve okay so there we go so two thirds x we say is equal to transpose natin c c four uh, the other side that becomes positive so that becomes uh, 12 plus 4 or 16 okay there you go next uh we're, we're just going under so there's one here cross multiply natin yan sila okay so 1 times 2x that becomes 2x okay is equal to 16 times 3 now since uh 16 times 3 there you go um, ganito, hindi ko na multiply si 16 and 3 kasi anyway, uh, it will just take time so ang gagawin lang natin, i-divide lang natin ng 2, divide natin ng 2 here 2 yan ha sorry, 2 so cancel that, and then 16 divided by 2, that becomes x is equal to uh, 16 divided by 2, that's 8 okay, and then times 3 na okay, so that x is equal to 24 there you go, so ganun siya okay Next one, uh, which is letter C again. Next one, number four. Uh, two less than four times a number is ten. Okay, again. Okay, so that's uh, four times. Okay, so that's four times a number. So that's four x. Okay, there you go. Four x less than two minus two is ten. Okay, so that's ten. And then. Uh, transpose natin si 2 so that magiging 4x is equal to 10 plus 2 okay 10 plus 2 now si 10 plus 2 magiging uh, uh, 12 so that means 4x is equal to 12 and then divided by 4 divided by 4 so x there is equal to 3 cancel 10 okay so x is equal to 3 here we go. <coughs> Number five. The sum. Wait lang. 
the sum of three consecutive odd integers is nine. So find the second integer. So inano kita. I mean, I explained it before, like how to represent consecutive odd, consecutive even, and consecutive integers. Ganon siya. Consecutive odd integers, consecutive even integers, and consecutive integers. Ah. I explained it. So if you uh, try to go over with my uh, video on the basics of uh, word problems, it's there. Okay. So consecutive add integers, we say we let x be uh, be the first integer. Okay. There you go. And then the second integer would be x plus two. And then the third integer must be x plus four. Sorry. Yun ganon. Next. Ah. Uh, Yung sum nila uh, is 9. So, that's plus, plus, and plus. So, yung total niyan is 9. So, add natin lahat ng x, 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 x. So, that's 3x plus 2 plus 4. That is 6 is equal to 9. And then, transpose natin si 6 in the other side. So, we say 3x is equal to 3x is equal to 9 minus 6 because 6 becomes negative. So, 9 minus 6, that is 3. And then, divide natin ng 3, divide natin ng 3, so there you go. x is equal to 1. Okay, there you go. Next, number 6. Number 6 tayo. Number 6, half the difference of a number and 14 is 18. Find the number, okay, half the difference. When I say half, we just have to divide it always by 2. If it's uh, a third or one third, divide by 3. Okay, half the difference of a number. Difference of a number and 14 is x minus 14. Okay, x minus 14. And then half of that is 2. And that is equal to 18. Understood, there's 1 here. So, cross-multiply natin yan sila. Pag-fraction on both sides, cross-multiply lagi. So, 1 times x minus 14, that is x minus 14. Okay. And then equals to 36. And then, yun. And then, transpose natin si 14, magiging positive siya. So, 36 plus 14, 36 plus 14, that becomes 50. So, x is equal to 50. Okay, there we go. Which is letter, that is letter uh, D. Okay, number 7 tayo. Number 7. Number 7 is a tenth, or tenth. Of the sum of a number and 6. Okay, a tenth. So, that's divided by 10. Sum of a number and 6. So, that's x plus 6. Sorry. x plus 6 over 10. Uh, a sum of... Uh, a tenth of the sum of number and 6 is 1, 6. Is means equal. And then, that is 1, 6. That means you have to divide by 6. The sum of a number and 20. So, x plus 20. Divided by 6. Sorry. Sobrang liit ng whiteboard ko. Anyway. Uh, cancel natin by 2 kasi si 10 at saka 6 may common na 2. So, divide natin ng 2. Magiging 5 siya. And then, kung magiging 3 siya. Cross multiply natin. Okay. So, 3 times x plus 6. That is 3x plus 18. Okay. And that is equal to 5 times x plus 20. So, that's 5x. And then plus 100 okay there you go now uh, transpose natin yung lahat ng variables in one side saka walang variables in the other side so we say uh, 3x minus 5x magiging minus 5x sya kasi positive sya in the other side that becomes 100 minus 18 also okay so this is negative 2x is equal to 82 Right? 82. Negative 2x is equal to 82. Negative 2x is equal to 82. So, divide natin ng negative 2. Divided by na negative 2. Cancel this. So, x is equal to negative 41. Okay? So, there we go. Next one. Uh, twice the sum of 80 and a number is 400. Okay? So, twice. That means times 2. Twice the sum of a number and 80. So, that's x plus 80. Okay? That is equal to 400. Okay. Now, uh, we'll just have to divide by 2 anyway. 
kasi both sides. So, this one cancel. Okay? And so, that's x plus 80 is, uh, 80 is equal to 200. Sorry. Okay, ganun siya. So, transpose natin sa 80 in the other side, that becomes negative. So, that's 200 minus 80 na siya. So, x there is equal to 120. Okay? There I go. Next one. Number 9, the sum of 3 consecutive integers is 63. Okay, so, first integer is x, second integer, the sum, so, lahat plus. And second integer natin is x plus 1, and then plus. And then, third integer natin is x plus 2. As I've said, uh, kung hindi nyo ano yung ganitong klaseng, uh, I mean, representation ng consecutive integers, consecutive odd integers, consecutive even integers, go back kayo dun sa ano, video ko, basics of word problems. Uh, sinunda ng video yung to, actually. Okay? So, the sum of the three integers, uh, consecutive integers is 63. So, this is equal to 63. There I go. So, add natin si x. So, we have 3x. Plus 1 plus 2, that's 3. Okay? Is equal to 63. So, transpose natin si 3 on the other side. That becomes minus. So, 63 minus 3, that is 60. 3x is equal to 60. So, divided by 3, divided by 3. So, x there is equal to, x natin is equal to 20. Okay? So, yung first integer natin is 20, which is x. So, yung second integer natin is 21, and third integer is 22. Diba nakita nyo? Ito yung tatlong integers natin. Ito yung first. Ito yung first. Ito yung second. Ito siya. Ito yung second. Ito yung third. Ayun. Ang late kasi ng whiteboard ko. Sorry. Ayun siya. Ganyan siya. Okay? So, yung first natin, ito siya. So, x is 20. So, x plus 1, 20 plus 1, that's 21. And then, 20 plus 2, that's 22. So, 20, 21, 22. Okay. So, ayun siya. Next one. Uh, number 10, the sum of 3 consecutive even integers is 12. Okay, ayan ulit, uh, the sum of uh, even integers, consecutive even integers. So, that is represented again by x. And then, sum nila, so plus, x plus, the second integer is x plus 2. And plus, the third integer, which is x plus 4. That is equal to 12. Okay, so x, 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 add natin yan, so we have 3x. And then, plus 2 plus 4, that is 6, is equal to 12. Okay? So, transpose natin si 6 in the other side. That becomes minus. So, 12 minus uh, 6, that is 6. 3x is equal to 6. Okay. So, divided by 3, divided by 3. So, our x is equal to 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Okay? Now, yung x natin is 2. So, that means first integer natin is 2. Second integer natin is 2 plus 2, which is 4. And then, 2 plus 4 is 6. So, 2, 4, 6. Yun yung 3 integers natin. Okay? So, ganun lang po siya. Uh, I hope this one helps you a lot, guys. I'm sorry. Pasensya na kayo sa whiteboard. Kayo sa cellphone na yung gamit ko sa pagre-record nito. Okay? So, ganun lang po. And hope this one help you, guys. And please don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, please uh, take that thumbs up. And also the bell. Tick that bell for the notification of my future, future videos po. And stay safe po tayo. God bless. God bless. God bless.